WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we've got the uh, Dow off 132, the S&P down 4, NASDAQ up 19, the Russell's up 19, semis are up 14 points out here. Tranny's back 333. Don't let that number scare you. It had a gigantic move yesterday. I know we're all waiting for the Fed decision. They uh, begin to taper. Taper will begin in December and in the following months. So we'll see the first reaction. Uh, that's during the uh, power trading hour. Uh, then uh, we get the second reaction. That probably is even during the end of that and during Tom's show. And then we'll have uh, tomorrow's reaction to take a look at. But at this stage here, um, I'm seeing the uh, Dow give up uh, some of its losses. But again, this is just simply, oh, let me uh, actually put the charts up on the screen. That would be helpful. Thank you. I don't have any charts just yet. Um, but let's do this. Let's, you know, I'm not seeing a gigantic reaction here just yet. Um, let's just go take a look at our daily indice charts out here. That way I can at least provide you guys with some information to be watching uh, during the afternoon. So we're going to look, go look at those indices. The Dow is in the upper left. Uh, if there's going to be any kind of a pullback here, the level I'd be watching is 35,763. That's that green oscillator and change line. Any pullback that tests and rejects that remains, the Dow would remain bullish. Inside the S&P 500, the number is 4586. Inside the NDX 100, it's 15,708. Inside the Russell, it's 2323. Inside the semis, it's 3444. Inside the transports, it's 16,120. Um, and those would be the numbers to be watching. Now, I'm not saying that price is going to pull back to those areas. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Um, but it's those areas that you would want to watch out there. Because if you did see closer below those, those would be sending signals to us of lower price out there. As far as the other markets out here, my, 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 my other screens have kind of frozen here. A lot of data going through there of all the instruments that are, that are moving. So the question is, is there anything else that I can provide to you? What I can share with you is that other than a bearish reversal candle that would form inside these indices out here, because each of them have A to B equals CD patterns, you can kind of hear my fans in that computer. That means this thing is going full hog out there. But um, all I was going to say was that because there's A to B equals CD patterns, if we did get bearish reversal candles, that would identify some type of short-term top. So it's not the initial reaction. That's what we have right now. It's going to really be about the end of the day. So stay tuned for some great programming here. David White's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.